Body bags will whore lies. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm your Thursday guy for body bags, and this week I am sick. <laughs> So yeah, in this in this video, I'm gonna my voice is gonna be dying. I'm gonna be kind of up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, right? I'm gonna try to not and be at least somewhat cohesive, so you can understand what I'm saying. This week is Nor Nordic Horror, and I picked, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, a Swedish film called Let the Right One. Yeah, no. And long story short, because I'm dead inside, there's basically this young boy, and he's uh he's getting bullied, and you know no one likes him, and his mom's mean a bit, and like his his mom and dad are divorced, and he only goes to his dad every now and again, and the dad seems like a cool dad. It's just he has to live with his mom, right? And there ends up being this girl that kind of uh, moves in with uh, this elderly figure. And, you know, the idea is that, oh, that must be like her dad or her grandpa kind of thing. But as the movie progresses, you're like, oh, well, one, she's a vampire. Two, two, he's not related to her. He's just basically her caretaker. And three, that's nuts. Crazy. It basically just ends up being a, a little love story, except, you know, they're both 12, so it's like, is it really a love story? I guess it is, but, right, kinda. It's a strange one, at best, mainly because of uh, some of the things that happen in the movie that are, like, very, like, I'm sure PDF Files would love to watch this movie kind of thing. PDF Files? I mean, that's short, that's a slang for Arab slang for uh, a term for a very very disturbed bad person right a really screwed up person in the head right kind of or just a really evil person right anyway um <clears throat> I thought the movie was fine it wasn't bad it was about an hour and a half two hours long and I don't really have any problems with the movie, it's just how it ends, it just makes me kind of question one aspect of the movie, and it's just a storyline thing that I would have a, a deal with. So, basically, the caretaker, well, I'm going to spoil, so, I liked, the, I, I liked it, I thought it was interesting, but is it a movie when I go watch again, I'm not sure, as of yet, anyway, um, I'm Go check it out. I'm sure it's out somewhere. It's on Shutter, I think. Well, no, no, my bad. Not Shutter. It's um, it's on Tubi. My favorite place. Um. So go check it out. It's uh, definitely worth the watch. But I'm about to spoil some stuff now. So. She starts getting getting. Um. Uh, she, you know, the vampire, twelve year old, well, twelve, right? Is attacking, starts attacking random people because, um, mainly because, oh man, mainly because the caretaker sucks at killing people, and now that, I hated seeing that because, you know, the caretaker would go kind of kidnap someone, and then hang them upside down, and then, and then, like, cut their head open. Or, no, my bad. Cut their neck, and then, you know, the blood starts coming out. And he has, like, a pot that all the blood is supposed to go down. But, like, the first two people, he just sucks at doing his job. So she has to start going out on her own kind of thing. And there's kind of, like, this friend group that ends up, she ends up basically attacking. And I don't know if it's supposed to be on purpose or not, but that just ends up being how it went, right? Um. <clears throat> um. Sorry. Skip a little of the movie. The guy gets caught, but he he uh, does something bad to him, his face, his own face. So it's like, oh, is he uh, actually it wasn't him because this happened to him kind of thing. And so uh, he's basically in the hospital. And because she is 
kind of like all over the place and trying to get food and whatnot. It basically gets him, except he kind of like, it's more of him sacrificing himself than her actually getting him kind of thing, or at least that's what I took from it. Um, and then he dies, right? So technically speaking, she ends up needing a new caretaker, right? And as the movie progresses, the young boy ends up being the new t caretaker. Caretaker. And the way the movie ends is basically them moving away because she just killed uh, some bullies of his. And so I was like, oh, well, he can't live there anymore because, you know, he's right there. That's like where all the gore was in the movie, too. And I was like, Phew. Wow. At the very end, yeah. Um, so my only real problem with the movie, and it's not the movie, it's one aspect of the story, right? And that's her. Because there's either two two things of who she is, and if it's an actual love story, then she would have to be the one. But if it's the other, then it's really effed up. So the one possibility is that her mind is her mental states that of a 12 year old and it's like she's never grown she's just stayed the same and stayed the same mental thing so like you know she's 12 and then she turns into a vampire and then like 200 years later or whatever she's still 12 and she technically would still be like 12 because of how she thinks and the mentality and whatnot but i'm not really sure about that because i mean maybe maybe so but in the beginning of the movie there's like this rubik rubik's cube that the boy is messing around with and then the next time he see he gives it to the girl or whatever and the next time he sees the girl she solved it and so it's like well she's super smart so i suppose the potential problem is that she's 12 <laughs> 12 but has the mind mind of like a 200 300 year old and so the problem with that would be that she basically manipulated the boy which would really suck. You know, you want to say, oh, it's a love story. That's effed up. <laughs> right? I would think so. Oh, that would be terrible. Ah, oh, my voice. Um, but I mean, you know, I, I'd like to think it was the first way. She just happened to be, I guess, smart, but she's not like the minds of a 200, 300 year old. Now, maybe you could still say that she manipulated him still, it, even if it was the first one. It's just. <laughs> I would say more effed up if like because it's like the tw the the first version she's not like trying trying to manipulate him it's like I don't know it just feels like the first one's not the first one's a love story the second one's just the girl manipulating him in which case is probably what happened or at least to a degree what happened to the original caretaker which would really suck for that guy right um but yeah, I mean, other than that, just the movie itself, just the movie itself, you know, I thought it was fine. It wasn't that bad. Now, the movie came out in like 2000, it was like 2006, 2007 kind of thing. I forget exactly when it came out. But a couple years later, America, you know, being modern day American cinema, remade the movie and modernized, Americanized it, I think. And they called it, uh, I think it's uh, Let Me In. That's what they renamed it. Let Me In. I haven't seen it. But it's probably trash. Because that's kind of what happens when you take a foreign movie and try to make it American. For some reason or another. <laughs> I'm not sure if you could point at one single movie and be like, Hey, that actually was a good one. I don't think there is. I could be completely wrong though on that. Um, all I know is that this this ver this uh, this movie I just watched, Let the Right One In, was was pretty solid. And if I were to go watch the remake, uh, the remake, right, the American version, it's probably gonna suck one way or another, right? Um. So yeah, I mean, I don't think there was anything else I didn't like about it or whatever. It, it all seemed it, it all seemed interesting and nice and whatnot. And. <sighs> I liked, well, I'm, I'm not going to talk about it because it's like, I like it, but it's like, it's something that almost happens in every single vampire movie. It's just, it felt different in this one for some reason, but anyway, um, if I had to rate this movie right now, 
I probably would give it I'd probably give it a little bit of a 7.2 out of 10 with my only real problem being uh, the length of the movie although that's not really that bad right if you're actually sitting there and watching it it, it's, it doesn't really feel like it's that long it's just it's like it doesn't feel like it's a long movie, but there are points where it's like, alright, is the movie almost over, kind of thing? Not really, but if you're not in the mood to watch it, then, you know, obviously. And you kind of have to be in a mood to watch it, but you also gotta probably be a weirdo to watch it, honestly. Because, alright, there's a lot of mo older movies and whatnot. <laughs> there's certain things that I'm not gonna talk about in, that are, are in this movie that PDF files like. And that, I guess, if anything, that's my problem. That's my problem with the movie. You probably could have, you probably could have implied rather than like show. And you know, there's like two big scenes that are like okay, but the one like actually shows, and that's like whoa, dude, why'd you show it? You could have just implied it. You could have shown the kid open the door and then see, and then his face, and it's like oh, he saw something. But it's like, you shoot that, you film that, and it's like, now PDF file, now you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna open the door for PDF files to go watch your movie now, cool. And like, there's a lot of older movies that do that too, and it's like, those movies kind of suck a little bit. But when it's all said and done, you take that stuff out, you take um, the potential controversy, whatever that second, the, uh, the whole thing that I didn't like, that I already went over about. I think it's a nice, solid movie that, you know, maybe you should watch one time, but, you know, be wary, there's some weird things in this movie, and, like, you'll be like, <sighs> right, so, I made it, I survived, ah! <laughs> ah, it sucks, it really does, it really does suck, but, yeah, I'm Sam, I'm your Thursday guy for body bags, I did let the right one in, and I gave it a 7.2 out of 10. It's a solid film. You should watch it sometime. It's on my favorite thing, Tubi, so that makes it even better. Because there's, like, commercials in between the movies, for the most part. And you could go take a break, maybe take a leak, or uh, get a snack, right? Yeah. I'll see y'all next week, hopefully. Goodbye.